What's up guys, it's Sydney and this is your 20 minute recovery day stretch. So have a seat and let's get started. What's up guys and welcome to the very last day of your Accelerate program. I'm so, so proud of you for making it this far. We're gonna celebrate the completion of this program with a nice cool down recovery day stretch that I hope you'll take seriously and take a little bit of time just to cool all the muscles down that you've been working so hard, all right? Let's give this gratitude to our bodies, all right? So big wide stance for me. We're gonna start with just breathing as you expand your ribs out in three. Two, one, big deep breath in, reach up, exhale, let it go. Again, exhale, let it go. One more, nice and big. Exhale, let it go. And fold forward, right down front. Slowly just point your toes forward. Nice wide stance with your legs. Great job. Let yourself hang just a bit lower if you can relax your arms. Maybe you can grab onto your elbows. And now let's relax the head straight down. Good. Go ahead and place your hands on the mat. Take your feet out just a bit wider and bend your right leg, keep your left leg straight. Great job. Come back into the middle, take your right hand up to the ceiling, big open. And come on back down, bend that right leg again. Really good stretch in the inner thigh here. Great job, and just be proud of your body here with this stretch today. Right hand up to the ceiling again. Good, bring it back down. Let's bend the left leg now. Left leg bends, you feel that stretch in your right inner thigh, even getting a little stretch in your left ankle. Good, straighten both legs back up. Lift your left hand to the sky. And come on back down, bend your left leg again. Deeper stretch here. Good, keep dropping it down. Four, three, and straighten your legs back up, good job. Left arm to the ceiling. Nice open chest. Good, bring your hand back down. I want you to bend your knees just a little bit and slowly roll it up to the top. Okay, take your left arm, cross it over your chest now. Great job. Then try to lean your head away from the shoulder that you're stretching. Good, pull just a little bit more. Nice, relax, just a little shake out. And let's go there one more time, okay? Big cross, wrap your arm around your forearm, take the lean over and big pull. Make sure your shoulders are nice and tall, spine is straight so you're not kind of slouching here. Good, drop your chin down to your opposite armpit. Great job, come back up and relax. There we go, and let's take the same thing, cross the other arm over, lean it away. Great job. As you lean your head over, it should target kind of the trap area up into your neck. There you go. And relax, let's do one more there. Okay, I know you've been working your arms hard. Big crossover. 
There you go. Chin down to your armpit. Big pull and relax. Good. Let's pull your fingers down so palms face the floor. Good job. And switch. We'll just hold each one for about 10 seconds. And just keep alternating. And you can bend your elbow, you can straighten it, whichever feels best for you. And switch. Good, switch it over again. And you'll find as you start to hold it, it will start to loosen up. You'll feel it a little deeper in different places. Good, now let's take the hands, point them down. I like to just put pressure on my legs. Okay, using my knuckles right on top of my thighs. And you should feel a nice stretch right up here in your forearm muscles. Great job. And relax, perfect. All right, let's take the hands right behind the head. Big twist. There you go, and you can let that toe tap on the opposite side. Okay, if you don't feel comfortable twisting right now, you can open up one at a time, okay? There you go, just getting some good core rotation. And rest your hands right on your hips. Now with that thoracic attention, we're gonna open the chest and close the chest, okay? When I close, elbows come forward, so there's a good stretch. Okay, let's go. Open and close. Open. Close. Good, let's do two more. Open. And close. One more, big open. And close. Great job, roll it down so your hands are down facing the floor. And you can walk out, drop it down to a tabletop position. Okay. We're gonna leave your hips up nice and high. Put your pinky finger edge on the floor and reach those fingers out as you drop your chest down. Big stretch in the lats and the mid and upper back. Great job. If you're having difficulty with any overhead movements, this one's one really important stretch for you. Push your chest down to the floor. Good, come on in, tabletop position. Let's arch and relax. Good, take those pinky fingers back out again. Great job. Beautiful, I wanted to give you a really nice deep stretch today. Come on into your hands again. Big deep breath as you drop your belly down. Exhale, lift. Last one. Beautiful. Come back to neutral. I want you to take your left hand, point your fingers out to the side as you glide down to touch your elbow to the floor. Look away from your arm and press to open. Nice big stretch in your chest on the left side. Good, so as long as my forearm is down on the floor for my left arm and I'm pushing to open here, Getting a really great upper body stretch in that straight arm side. Come on up and switch. Glide the hand out to the side. Drop the forearm. Press, turn and look away. This is a fantastic stretch for anyone who sits at a desk all day, who's on the computer or driving a lot all day. And that 
position, we tend to round our shoulders and just close off our chest. So this is a great one to just open it up. Switch again. Beautiful. And come back up and switch. Last one here. Perfect. Come on down to your hands and knees again and we're gonna kick the left leg straight out to the side. Okay, support yourself on your right hand and we're gonna lean away from that straight leg. Okay, moving down from the upper body into the core and legs now. Good job, big arch over and reach. There we go. And if you can, open it up a little more by pushing your hips forward, reaching back just a bit. Great job, come on back in, switch legs, and open it up to the other side. Lean away from that straight leg, up and over. Good, open chest, open hips. And if you can, hips forward, reach it back a little more. Great job, come back into the middle, hands and knees again, back into that tabletop. This will be kind of our reset position. Tuck your toes down and lift both legs up into the air, your hips by straightening both legs. All the weight goes over onto your right heel. You can go ahead and just relax your left foot and roll your ankle. Good, really press into that right heel so you get a good calf stretch. Left foot is just kind of hanging out. We're working on ankle mobility. Good, all right, take it down and let's switch it over. Same thing with the other foot, nice and flat. If you find you need more of a, a stretch and a challenge back here, Walk your hands out further, okay? Great job, let's switch legs again. Hit one more time here on this calf. Good, really press it down, press it down, press it down. And switch back over, good job. Last one here on that second leg. Good, breathe. Great work, all right. Walk your hands out just a little bit further and we're gonna drop the hips down. Okay, keeping your legs straight back from your hip bones and we're looking to press the chest nice and high. Good job. Good, lower down to the floor for just a second. Relax your back, let your spine relax. Inhale, exhale, push up. Good job. Good, back to that tabletop position again. Okay, we're gonna take the left foot, keep it back, right leg comes up outside your right hand, and straighten your torso up here, okay? So number one, I want you to see if you can get this neutral hip, and then we're gonna push forward, okay? So I still want a good focus in the hip flexor, so make sure you're not just here, and letting your belly arch here or here, and leaning over, okay? Neutral. Then lean forward as you bend that front leg. Good job. See if you can take your left hand, put it outside of your right leg, give it a big twist. Good, come back into the middle. Take the left hand to the ground. 
Open it up, big twist. Good. There we go. Now we're gonna take this right leg and swoop it down onto the floor, okay? It can look like this if you have a good stretch here. Hips are always facing the ground, okay? If you feel more comfortable, you can make your way down to the floor. Your leg can be tucked in, but your hips need to be facing the floor. And if you can, straight shin, okay? Go to where you feel stretched but comfortable, shouldn't be any pain, and make your way down if you can. Good, we're gonna stay right here for 30 seconds. Slowly make your way to the floor. And keep that hip pointing to the ground. Good, a little deeper, last half. Beautiful. Three, two, and walk your hands back up. Let's go ahead and switch sides. Okay, left foot up top here. Back to our kneeling position. Neutral hips, so belly button is not here, it is here, and then we lean forward. There you go. Nice work. Feel a good stretch here. See if you can take that right hand outside your front leg. Big twist. Keep dipping this hip down. Good, take the right hand to the floor and open. Great job. And let's take that leg right underneath. Okay, same kind of stretch, so easiest option is up here. Okay, scoot your way down if you can, and when you get down, if you need to pull in here, that's okay, but keep this hip facing the floor. If you can, straight leg, and let's fold. Here we go. 30 seconds here. Shouldn't be any pain. If you need to adjust, dial back, please do. Keep breathing. If you can go a little lower, let's do it. Beautiful work. Three, two, and one. Great job. You're gonna stay right here and lay it down on your side, pulling this right heel to your glute, okay? Got about a minute per leg left, glutes and hamstrings. Great job. And you're gonna move the same leg for one minute, okay? So take that straight leg up top, pull to your chest. Great job, take that leg out to the side, big open. Good, bring it into the top again, bend and push towards your chest. Here we go, we hold here for 15, and then we'll take it to the other leg. Same exact four stretches. So we'll just reverse the order of that one. So go ahead and straighten that leg and switch it, okay? Other leg, pull right up to your chest. Great work. Be mindful of how much work your body's done for you in this past challenge and how excited you are about what it will continue to do in our next challenge. All right, take that leg straight up. So now we're working with the left leg. Take it out to the side. 
so excited to get into this next challenge with you. Make sure you check out everything in the description before you head out to make sure you're joined there. Subscribe to the channel so you can get all these workouts. Leg is straight up top, pull back. This one's a little tighter for me. <laughs> Great job. Good, go ahead and release that leg and we're gonna end up on the side, stretching that leg in our quad stretch. Okay, straighten up, pull that heel to your glute. Great job, and as we ease out of our cool down or our recovery day stretch here, I hope you're gonna keep doing the stretches that you felt the most, okay? There were certain areas that, for all of us, we felt them a little bit more than the others, okay? Maybe it was legs, maybe it was shoulders, whatever it was today, remember that, okay? Pay attention to that part of your body. It's asking you, hey, this is tight. You don't wanna feel tight. Your body isn't designed to just feel sore and tight all the time. You should be able to move fluidly and have blood flow in all the areas of your body, and most importantly, mobility, okay? So I'm very excited to hop into tomorrow's challenge with you, the March Burn Challenge. Like I said, make sure you check everything out in the description for your workout calendar and how to join my community for accountability, the Sydney Squad. So I'd love to have you in either of those options, but most importantly, I just love to keep rocking with you here every day. So if you can do me a quick favor and make sure that you are subscribed to the channel, I'm gonna bring you new workouts every day to help you accomplish your goals. So proud of you. Accelerate program officially done. Bye guys, I'll see you tomorrow.